<sighs> Whew, man, I'm tired today for some reason. Maybe I didn't make enough money, right, Alex? <laughs> yeah, one of those days, guys. It's like, it seems so fucking smooth. That I'm like, why did I fucking load up? You know, you have to be careful about these, careful about these kind of mental kind of like greed. Because like, it's so fucking smooth. I didn't have to fight anything. And like, oh my God, it's so fucking simple. Why did I just fucking load the boat? <clears throat> and then the next trade you do, you load the boat and you get your ass kicked. So never have that mentality, guys. Go into the day, never thinking about P&L. I didn't even look at my P&L. I, I thought I was up some ridiculously amount of money. I looked like, oh, it's not that much. <laughs> well, not that much is off perspective, right? I made more today than I, in one hour than I did as an engineer in one month, right? So, I mean, I'm blessed already. But then it's kind of weird because, like, so people always say, hide your P&L. Hide your P&L. Bullshit. Don't fucking hide your P&L. You, all you end up doing is trying to calculate your P&L in your head. I hate people that say that. The people that say that are the more advanced guys. They're like millions in their fucking account. They don't really give a fuck with the. But you know, normal guys, you want to look at your P&L. I'm, I'm trading to make money. I'm not trading for the fucking like thrill of trading. Otherwise, I'll just play a video game of trading, right? I hate playing fake ass games where there's really no reward in the real life. You know, like, fuck, you spend five years of your life playing a fucking video game and now you're level 1,000 1, barbarian. And in real life, you're a fucking, you're a little wussy in the, your mom's basement, right? <laughs> and with no money. But I got a billion worth of coins, gold coins in fucking this game. Yeah, but you're broke ass, can't even afford a fucking cell phone, right? So, you know, we trade for money. You know, you equate it to real life. So that's why I'm scared to tr play video games, guys. Scared to play video games because, uh, fuck, man, I I'd rather be trading to learn, right? The time that you spend learning, you know, is more important than fucking learning to play and beat the fucking dragon online. So those guys are like, oh, you know, trading is too hard. You just spent a year of your fucking life playing a fucking video game and giving the give video game money. Buying fucking fake ass clothes on the video game. I just don't understand that that concept. I just bought this fucking this fucking god sword that fucking has like purple purple dots on it, rainbows. I bought a skin. You know, <laughs> I, just, I just don't understand the concept. So if you guys can play a video game well, guys, you can trade. You just have to like like it. Some people cannot trade because they. Okay, before I start, I want to tell you one thing. In order to be a successful trader, you must love trading. In order to be a successful baseball player, you must love baseball. In order to be good, the best at something, you must be passionate. You must have passion for it. Because it's not about the money. If you're, if you're passionate about the money, there's so many other ways to make fucking money. Go get a fucking job that pays you a shit ton of money. How? Go to college. But obviously, you don't want to go to college. You know, you don't want to be an engineer because you hate engineering, but you love money. So, it comes to this, okay? So, first off, if you don't like trading, guys, there is nothing I can teach you that will that will make you want to stay up at night. That will make you want to t fucking start losing money and want to come back the next day, okay? Because when the going gets tough, the people that fucking stay are the ones that are passionate about trading. Man, when we started out, Alex and I lost a lot of fucking money. Everybody loses money when they start out, right, guys? Trading that we give up our ego. I'm like, screw this shit. I'm so tired of trying to be the man. Fake it till you make it ain't shit. Fuck this. Fake it till you make it. Okay, you know what you do? You fucking man up. You face the reality. You're like, you know what, man? I have not made it up. I have not made it yet. I'm not going to fake it all. I am going to try, get my ass kicked, and come back stronger. Just like the video game. You don't fucking just win the video game. How many times have you lost before you fought that, that fucking last stage boss, right? At the video game, that their kid, right? You're fucking, you're a kid. You're putting quarters in like crazy, and then you know what? Fuck! I just spent all my fucking lunch money on, on this game. I can't even beat level one. Then you come back the next day. You know that's the attitude you need to get for trading, guys. You come back smarter. You learn. You learn that this fucking boss at the end is not, you know, like he, like he doesn't take fireballs well, or whatever the fuck it may be, right? You stop, el you stop elbowing him. Stop kicking him. Maybe jump into him. You know, you learn. These are the, these are the things that you learn as you play the game. Same thing with trading. It's no different, guys. If you look at trading as a video game, 
and I'm trying to conquer the fucking evil boss. Okay? And what I see some of these guys, they don't want to learn. They keep dying at the same level. And that's because their ego is fucking plowing their brain, guys. So what do you do? What do you do, guys? You gotta humble yourself. How many times have you asked your friend how to play this video game? How to beat this boss? How to get into a group to fight that dragon? How many video games? All video games now is all about tabs, right? Trading accountability, buddy, but now it's basic. But it's a game, right? You, before you go to the, before you conquer the dragon of these games, you build a group of five guys. Some of them magicians, they cast spells, those are the smart guys, but they, maybe they don't have any hit points, right? They, they, they're not a warrior. So you have other, so basically you, you compile a group. You don't want a group of all barbarians that can't fucking cast a spell. You don't want a group of all magicians that can't fucking take a hit. That's the, the concept of this tab program we have, right? The trading accountability, buddy. You know, Alex is good at something. I'm good at something. Tosh is good at something. You guys are good at something. So you build a team, okay? Because what I lack, Alex makes up for. Exactly, and by ver vice versa as well. So that's the first thing with a tab, guys. So, so think about that as a video game. The next thing is, it's like, dude, everybody asks for help. Like, how do I beat this fucking monster? I keep getting my ass whooped. I don't want to use this example, but there's a guy on Twitter that loses every fucking day. But he doesn't want to ask for help. It's like it's obvious. You come in there by himself trying to kill the same dragon the same way. It's not going to work. It's not going to work, buddy. First thing you need to do is, you know what, man? You got to give up your ego. If you're okay with asking for help in a video game, why are you not okay with asking for help in trading? Trading is a real-life video game, dude. You know, I'm sitting here. It's a fucking, like... With godlike weapons, you're coming there with a fucking slingshot and a loincloth made of a fucking, like a fucking leaf, right? And you expect to take damage in the groin? <laughs> I got fucking titanium fucking coverings around my genitals so that you can't fucking bite it off. <laughs> and here you are in a fucking loincloth. Some of you guys are just walking around naked, dude. No hard stops, no max daily loss. Just running there with your fucking claws. No, no fucking protection. Around any part of your body, dude. One little kick in the balls and you're dead. You're a dead man. Okay? So, what do you do? Some of you guys pay money to be trained in the video game. But you wouldn't pay money to learn the real video game of life, which is trading? So think about this. What is the cost of being cheap in that video game? I don't want to pay money for that fucking uh, sword. So I'm going to fucking use the slingshot. You're going to die all the fucking time. Don't be fucking cheap. Go buy that fucking sword, guys. Go buy the sword. But before you buy that sword, how do you even know how to use a sword? You must pay someone in the game to teach you. It's called experience, right? You're leveling up. You're leveling up, guys. Okay? Yeah, you don't want to be Leroy Jenkins, guys. Look that up. That's fucking funny, too. I posted on that. Um, so same thing with that, man. What is the cost of being cheap on education? It's the same thing as the video. You're going to die. You're going to die. <laughs> I guarantee you. You know, you're not, not going to be able to walk around the... That video game by your fucking self with your loincloth and your fucking slingshot. So I see some guys on Twitter. I see some guys on social media. I see some guys just calling me and asking and begging for a discount. Only after they get their ass whooped. I think about this. In a fucking video game, you have all these goals. Okay? That is the time to assemble the best team. Now you, the dragon killed you. You're naked. All your fucking supplies, your armor, your gold is stuck in that fucking dragon's lair. And now you try to ask someone for a fucking discount so that they can risk their life to go into that dragon's lair with you to get back your shit. And they're like, wait a minute, motherfucker. Only that you lost, right? So don't be cheap, guys. You don't want to be Leroy Jenkins. You do not want to be Leroy. What you want to do is come before you even get into the dragon's lair. You fucking level the fuck up. You assemble your tab. Your teams of fucking wizards, warriors, and all that kind of stuff, right? And then you pay for the best weapons you can. You save your ass off. You know, you know, like, how do you build... How do you get gold in video games? You don't fight the dragon every time. You're beating up little rats and shit. You're beating up little fucking little fucking rabbits and the, 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 minor, the minor enemies, right? The minor little fucking guys that walk around. You, you are grinding. You're grinding for that fucking five gold at a time. 
for that, you can fucking get that 1,000 golden fucking sword. Same concept, guys. Same concept in trading. Why the fuck all of a sudden you get into trading, you're like, I want a fucking diamond place, diamond hands. Who the fuck are you? You, don't, you barely have one coin. <laughs> okay? So level up, guys. So it's the same thing, man. I see guys dying all the time. And they're trying to be cheap for a few coins. But why are you cheap in a video game? Why are you cheap in the real game of life, guys? I see guys trying to save $50. What, how much are we, Alex? One ninety-seven. But we're even cheaper with that, with uh, annuals and all that. There's other guys that are charging 150 bucks. That you're trying to save 50 dollars? Again, an inferior piece of shit loincloth, overpriced loincloth. When we're giving you a fucking discounted legendary diamond armor, you know, why is another fucking 50 dollars, guys? But you would gladly pay that in a video game. But why aren't you paying that in a video game of life, guys? I mean, I'm I'm deadly serious, guys. I am fucking, I don't want to say any shit, but in trading, I am the fucking legendary creature that you are fighting against. <laughs> Good luck, motherfucker. Good luck fucking slaying me with your fucking slingshot. Good luck being cheap on commission, having a shitty broker. The broker is very important. Stop being fucking cheap, okay? You're not going to be able to compete with me. I have legendary fucking status, okay? I'm using a broker like... Cobra, if you want to use a Cobra, um, if you want a, a fucking legendary type of broker, guys, hit me up. Cobra is, is a great partner with ours in MIC, so hit them up and mention MIC for a discount. So think about it, man. Like in a video game, you go to fucking buy your armors and stuff. Dude, first thing you got to do is fucking have the right fucking shop to buy. So you need a right broker, guys. So Cobra, right? We have a partner with them. You guys can get discounts with them. So mention MIC. You know, next thing you know, okay, now you have a fucking broker. How do you even use these fucking weapons? You bought the weapons, but you don't know how to fucking use the weapons. That's what we teach you. You have all these tools, and you're being cheap on how to fucking use the tools. They call it a tool on purpose, guys. You're a tool, right? When, when, when someone calls you a tool, you're stupid. You're, 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 you're an idiot. People use you. That's what a tool is. A tool is stupid. It doesn't do, doesn't do anything. You can misuse a tool. If I gave a fucking, a gorilla a fucking hammer and he's hitting himself in the head with it, he'll die. <laughs> if I give another fucking person a fucking hammer and he's using to hit the gorilla, he wins. So the tool is only as good as how you use the tool. That's called education. Stop being fucking cheap. This is why you're losing your ass off. If you have lost more than $200 today, this week, this month, and you're not in MIC learning, you're a fucking tool. <laughs> you're a fucking tool. You can walk around with your diamond plate armor, but you're wearing that diamond plate armor backwards. You're wearing a fucking jock strap on your face thinking it's a fucking mask for COVID. You know, that's what it is. I see some of these guys, they have no clue what the fuck they're doing. They're looking at level two and they're going, there's only 500 shares here. It's a very thin stock, you dumb fuck. They're hiding. A million shares behind that 500 and and they're like how could they hide shares come on you're an idiot you're an idiot you know people i hide shares all day long how am i gonna put out 10,000 fucking shares and scare people i'm fucking putting a 500 share and then i'm fucking have 9,500 shares behind it is you know this is a sort of a legendary kind of spell casting you can do with the right broker so i mean my rent is fucking real because i I get a lot of people ask me only when they go broke. And I'm like, where the fuck were you all this money? And they're like, oh, I, I joined another service. You joined another service you lost? And then you come to ask for me? Yeah, because the other service, huh? They're cheap. And Bao, you know what? You always answer my questions. So I feel like, you know, I learned everything from you already. What? You, you learn everything through DM because I fucking gave you an answer? Why don't you ask your guru that you pay money to, right? So this, this kind of stops now, guys, seriously. Don't, don't tell me that you lost all your money because you're in a pump and dump service and now you're looking for a discount. I'm not, in fact, if you do that, I'm raising the price on you. Your diamond plate is now going to be costing you a lot more money because I know that you are not going to be fucking using that diamond plate properly. Okay? I see some of these guys going broke and they're defending, defending their mentor. I'm using the word mentor very loosely. You replace that word mentor with furu. Your fucking mentor blew you up, doesn't even talk to you, 
You're crying to me for help, begging me because, and then you go back to that fucking mentor. You're, you're, you're like one of those battered ass fucking relationship, fucking domestic abuse people, right? You're trying to get help, but then you always go back. I think it's called a uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Where you fall in love with your oppressor. Stockholm Syndrome. So what do you do, guys? We're here to help you guys. I am here to liberate <laughs> Alex. Is here to liberate Tosh. MIC is going to help you guys. Stop being a tool, guys. Stop being a tool. I mean, when you drive a car, you're buying a Ferrari. You don't, don't you want to learn how to use it? You, uh, what's this button? How do you start up a fucking Lambo? Like starting up a fucking Lambo, you, there's no key. You have to find the fucking button. You know, it's the same thing with Aston Martin. Aston Martin is even fucking more convoluted. You know, where the fucking button's at, right? Or even the Range Rover. There's no fucking start button, right? You have to fucking search for it. So all these things, you're like, it's like you, you get the tool, you get the car. You don't even know how to turn on the car. And you don't even know, like, what the speed modes are, right? And things like that. So education, guys, is the fucking key. Okay? And, and wait. It's like, like anything in life. So if you want to think about this, guys, think about it as a video game. How do you win a video game is how you win in trading, right? Slow and steady. Build your experience. Partner up with a nice group of guys that are ahead of you. You're not going to fucking like form a role-playing game group with a bunch of like newbies. But you know what, man? <laughs> if you're a newbie, we're going to get help, right? You're going to come into a fucking group with a nice guy who's willing to help you. Because this nice guy is already legendary status. He's bored as shit in the game. He beat all the bosses and he's just sitting around, fucking fucking around. That's what happens when you play the game too long. When you play the game too long, that's like me. I hate these games because I'm like two years into the game and I'm bored as shit. So you know what I do? I fuck around. I start fighting other players. I start killing other sh uh, other players for fun. Or what I do is I, I find little guys and help the little guys so that it makes it more fun for me. Same thing with trading, guys. This is when people ask us, why we do this we do this i'm bored as shit and i want to give back and it's fun for me it makes trading much more fun than just fucking waking up and making my money like today another thing is like dude eighteen thousand dollars alex made it five minutes and it's like dude this is another fucking day you know it's it's like just another day eighteen thousand compared to two million dollars it's like dropping a bucket compared to a lifetime of ten million doesn't matter right it's like eighteen thousand it's like you go there and, but that's a lot of money for most people and so imagine if, if, if you're in a role-playing game and you find some fucking like badass titanium armor and you think it's badass, but then, but then the guy's having a, like, like a legendary diamond plate, right? That, that fucking titanium ain't shit. So same thing with the $18,000. Same thing with $5,000. Some people are just lucky, happy to make $200 a day. $200 a day is forty or 50000 a, a year, guys. Twenty. $2 a day is $50,000 a year, so it's a lot of money. Woo! Anything else, Alex? What should I do? Should I bring someone on? Uh, I'm going to take questions now, guys. Any questions? Because I, I am sick. I'm tired of, of, of you. I see cheap-ass people, man. And the worst, you know what the worst is? The ones that you help, they think they become successful enough that they leave, and they're ungrateful. They fucking leave, and they go, oh, I learned enough of you. Uh, okay, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, you see that in martial arts, and it's kind of like they leave, and you know what? They have they blow up, and then then, then they, they want back. I'm like, dude, if you're gonna leave, and you blow up, cause you're arrogant, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I should take you back. Is that a good? Is that someone that's my friend? Is that someone that's good that I should take back? Would you take them back? Unless your blood, I have no choice. It was my family, <laughs> but you know, my family is like you're you're some kid on the street. I helped fucking, you know, I clothed you, I helped you, and now you found a little bit of success, and you're like, bye-bye, I don't need you anymore, motherfucker. Good luck, because you're going to see me on the battlefield, and when you run into me, I'm going to smoke you. <laughs> Why so angry? I'm angry because, because people like you are not angry. Never hide. Why are you angry? I'm angry because, you know what? This is not for you. Maybe you should leave, man, so that, you know, if you don't understand why I'm angry, you're not a good person. There's more to life than making money and all this shit, guys. I don't need this shit. I made more money today than most of you guys made in a fucking month working your job. I don't want to fucking be an asshole, okay? 
and I don't post my P&L because you know there's no really no need to. I mentor a lot of people, and those people post their P&Ls. So if my whole thing is based on the people that we help, I'm more happy. Alex is more happy that our men, our people that we mentor in the room makes more money. This is the this is the passion that you you rarely see in other people that are successful guys. I'm not saying I'm successful, but I'm more successful than most. I'm not. I'm. I mean, I try to humble myself, but sometimes you guys, you sometimes you gotta bring out that fucking big ass stick and whip someone's ass, right? To let them know like who's the boss, right? I don't want to do that, but but there's cases where it's kind of like you know, because sometimes you you become too humble and people like think that they could kill you, and then when they come out to you, you know, you're like, oh man, I don't want to fucking have to do this shit. Uh, what am I missing here, Dave? Uh, uh, Alex, should I bring you on? Who wants on? Raise, raise your hand. Who, who wants to learn how to fucking level up with the boss and get some fucking armor? Oh, this is not angry B. Exactly, Jay. This is this is me calm, man. I have not even cursed. <laughs> you'll you'll see. You'll see if I'm angry bell. You will see my angry bell. This, this this is I'm a happy I'm a happy camper now. You know, I I went out. You know, their stocks are moving right now. I'm like, fuck it. I don't need to trade. I did it okay. You know, I'm living my, my, you know, I'm walking here. I'm helping you. So I'm not angry at all. All right. Someone with a face profile. So my suggestion to all you guys on Instagram, put a face on your profile. Um, being anonymous doesn't really fucking help anything. You know, the people that are anonymous are either t- trolling or they're just, what the fuck are you hiding, right? I don't have fake accounts. You see who the fuck I am. My face is all over the place. Even though it's ugly as shit, you know, I don't care. Anybody, raise your hand. Hey, let me bring up Clutch Trader. It's been a while. This is good, man. Sergio, you got to tell people what's going on here. My, my, my buddy, Sergio, all the way from Ecuador. Let me see if we can get on. If not, James will get on. So I, want to, I, want, I want you to tell this guy. But if he doesn't want to get on, that's fine too. Hey, Sergio. <laughs> How you doing, man? Uh oh, I'm really doing bad. great. You know, I love these runs every Tuesday. <laughs> so tell everybody who you are and what's going on, because uh. You, you you were one of the original members of MIC, and you're still here. <laughs> oh, man, there's reception here. Yeah. Yes. Well, well, my name is Sergio, and um, I live in Ecuador. I'm, I'm from Ecuador. I met you in New York. I lived in New York City for five years, since 2014 to 2019, because of work, and now I'm back to my country. And long story short, I... I basically found out about trading back in 2017. And uh, for me, it was very new since we don't have this culture of trading, or we didn't have this culture of trading here in Ecuador, you know. Um, so I started to grind, and, and of course, I, I did many mistakes. I was trying to avoid, you know, all the scammy industry that is behind uh, trading. Uh, nevertheless, I'm human, and sometimes I did fall for, you know, for perhaps the easier or perhaps just the money perspective of trading. But at a certain point, I started to click and realize that the most important and and it's something that no one is going to fix you. Uh, you have to fix it for yourself. Uh, however, if you have a good mentorship around, good friends, good buddies, that they are willing to help you out, then you're going to start learning and, and, and you're going to see your results, uh, I will say, in a much smaller time frame. So I joined MIC just the first day that you launched it. That was back in August 2018. And since then, things started to click. Uh, sometimes it was a slow, a slowly because my work, uh, so I used to work a lot when I was in, in the U.S., uh, but uh, I met certain friends, good friends in MIC. I met you, and and things just started to go, you know, in reverse mode. I, I started to unlearn bad habits and and just to get the good stuff. 
at certain point I had to come back to Ecuador. So I sort of kind of retired myself from the trading environment. And this year I, I basically started from scratches from zero. I, I just started to keep it simple, follow the rules, have a good risk management and, and listen to, to you, the mentors and everyone in, in in MIC every single day. And the results have been, you know, to be honest, very, very impressive. I, I've never had the consistency I'm experiencing nowadays. And I'm still dealing with, with my demons. I'm still dealing, you know, with emotions, grief, fear. Uh, but MIC, I will say, is one of the best, if not the best community out there. There are thousands of, you know, yeah. scammers. But I will say that, you know, MIC deserves, you know, for everyone to just give it a try. And, and a, a give it a try is not one month, guys. Uh, you, you need to realize that trading is one of, I will say, the, the hardest career that you will ever learn. And, and it's like in real life, you have to grind, you have to study, you have to keep it up. There will be good days, there will be bad days. You have to keep on going and, and, and study hard, guys. If you're not willing to put the effort, how come you wish to have a better life uh, or earn a lot of money or those kind of things? In, uh, trading is yeah, like what, life. Yeah, I want to comment one thing. Real life. Uh, so, so, sure. so Sergio the, the, went through the normal things that everybody did. So when he started, he lost a lot of money. And when he lost a lot of money, he became very scared, you know, PTSD, right. post-traumatic trade disorder. That's what I call it, PTSD. <laughs> so he has a fear of trading, right? So what I suggested that Sergio do, yeah. because I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something, guys. This is the secret of trading. The secret of trading is not how much money you make, your p &L. The secret is how well your process is. Because your process is going to make you that money all the time for the rest of your life. So I suggested that Sergio not focus on his p &L. Size down, very tiny to learn the process so that he can become very disciplined at learning that process because making a thousand dollars in one day doesn't mean much if you cannot keep doing it right you rather be making a hundred dollars every single day of your life than to make a thousand dollar one time and start losing i don't understand so i suggest the surgery will size down and you be impressed because you know what man if you can make a hundred dollars a day you can make five hundred dollars a day you can make a thousand you can make ten thousand it's the same, similar process. But first, you need to learn how to make $100 consistent a day. So I want to tell, let, let Sergio tell you, like how much size, you'd be very surprised how little amount of size you need to make this kind of money. So you can tell me your results on the, how much size you have, because it's pretty impressive, because not, not everybody has a lot of money. There are people around the world that have less money, but the, the key is once Sergio knows how to do this in the process, he can use more size later on. So you want to tell them what, what like, man, I think you're like using like 60 shares or something? Correct. Go, go ahead, Sergio. Yeah. You, want, you want to tell them? Before like, that, yeah, perhaps yeah. just for, for everyone to, to, to listen. Um, yes, I lost a couple thousand dollars back in 2017, 18. By May 2018, I decided to stop the bleeding. And since then... Uh, I wasn't trading with real money. I, I was learning and studying paper trading. And at a certain point when, when I have this gap of a year that I was out of the markets, when I came back in, in January 2021, I wasn't spending any money at all. I was paper trading with uh, Thinkorswim. And I did it, I think, basically for almost five months. Bao told me already in March, you are ready. You should start going with a small positions. But I didn't have money. I didn't have money. But that didn't stop me to, for coming to the markets every single day, starting every single night, starting my weekends, and just putting the effort. I wasn't doing any outrageous or something in those terms. I, I was trying to keep it real. So in the beginning, I, I basically started with $3,600 with Trade Zero, and that was in uh, mid-May. And by today, I think I, I already have $12,000 in my account. I'm not Woo! focusing on the money. I basically started, when I started trading live, I started with 25 shares. Uh, 25 I, I, shares. I started to put uh, 25 shares, yes. Three shots awesome. sometimes, you know, putting, setting my, my lines and everything. And I will spare three shots of 25 shares. So my, my max size will be 75 shares. If 
you know, those orders were, were hit. Most of the time I only get hit one or, 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 or two shots. And, and yes, and, and, and if you want to see, I'm basically right now at my desktop here. So I'm, I'm following the market. Today was a green day for me as well. I, around $446. And no stress at all. And, and just trying to keep it as simple as possible, following the process. Having trying to have how many how many shares risk how many shares you trade to make that you know I I get caught you're, you're, my emotions you're still on seventy five shares uh, and I keep on learning so actually uh, nowadays I'm I'm trading with eighty shares so you can even see here shares. yeah it says quantity eighty so that's Guys, what I normally use they made four hundred dollars and today. this is basically what I what I've done yeah. And if you want to so see, I, I keep my calendar as well. So when I was paper trading, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So go, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So when I was paper yeah, trading, Ecuador's you can see this is my full calendar of the year. Yes, that's uh, our basic salary. Here is, is four hundred dollars per month. And he did that one. So day this is my calendar. Shares. When I was paper trading, uh, I wouldn't put any numbers. I was just putting, you know, the the, the green boxes. Black is when I, I couldn't trade. Um, I'm very lucky to be honest because I'm I'm, I'm sometimes I, I I feel this is unreal, but I have only had two red days back in January, and uh, and nowadays, you wow. know, I started very small, seven dollars, nine dollars, eighteen dollars each day. And now you started to grow from scratches. That is amazing, guys. You see that? And it's all he leveled to up you, just like the video game the right way. Hey, man, you did the hard work. You know what, you know what man? You, this is the mentorship you need. You basically need to – what Sergio did was he faced the truth. And that's exactly what he did. He faced his demons, and he, he slowly conquered it, right? He's still going through it. Everybody's going through demons. Me, too. I was scared every day, too. But, you know, so now what he does is he – his yes. risk management is on point. Tell everybody how you do your risk management. So basically, I, I set my entry points. I, I only trade with fantasy lines. Uh, it's very rare that I, that I become reactive to the market to something. So if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, uh, I think just by trading by lines, guys, you, you sort of cure FOMO. So if it doesn't hit and then the price goes up, because normally I go long, I'm, I'm trying to learn the short side and I make some money, but I'm still probably 60, 70% of my time going long. And, uh, and I basically just wait, wait for my lines, wait for my plan. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I haven't lost anything. The price can go even $10, $20 up and, and it doesn't matter because it didn't go according to my plan. And uh, when it comes, and, and because there are sometimes, you know, the, the price goes lower than you, whatever you were expecting, I try to cut as soon as possible, as, as quick as possible. Sometimes, you know, someone gets, you know, emotional, and, and, I, and I try to see how, if I can, you know, sort of uh, cut my position half, but most of the time I'm, I'm not dealing with those emotions because I just trust in the process, trust my lines, and I do the, you know, for the price to do the rest. If I get some money, good for, 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 for the trade. If I didn't get the money, it's good as well because I haven't, you know, I, I haven't blow up or, or ruin my account. I, I have to be honest, sometimes I do get emotional and I do fight with, with the market, but I try to be as conscious as possible and, 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 and to realize that in one trade, I'm not gonna become rich and I don't want to be, you know, blowing on my account in one trade either. Yep, you, you imagine, you made today $400, which is annual salary for a normal person in Ecuador. That's, that's amazing, man. Yeah, monthly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if you do this, you are rich. <laughs> but, but you know what, man? It took you a long time to get here. Yes. I never think I'm rich. You never think you're rich. That's, that's the key. We, we trade the right way. We don't focus on the P&L. Notice he's trading 80 shares. He's not focusing on getting rich quick overnight. But he knows that. You know what, man? 
And I told Sergio, it's true. Look how quickly it adds up, right, my friend? It adds up so fast. When correct. you don't have and and I'm not focusing I'm not add up correct I'm not fixating on a certain amount I, so, I just I just take what the market gives me and what the process gives me every day if one day for example last monday I got $92 and on friday it was $97 and yesterday I got 300 and today 446 and I'm I'm not trying to get you know greed. Most of the time, I only trade the first hour or the first two hours because I have to also work and and that's it. And, so, so you say and I'm not fixating on how much I'm making. Job. Yeah, I'm focusing on the process because I I think that I'm just starting to crawl and I'm not even you know thinking that I mean you know uh, uh, I still think that I'm a beginner and 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 you know trading is a long term process and you have to put the work every single day. So you you're working full time, work trading just the first hour. I mean, this is exactly what we are trying to teach people to do. Don't quit your day job, learn to do this. You only need to trade an hour. And how much are you up this month, Sergio? Do we ask? So this month uh taking off the commissions because I I do also consider the commissions and you can see it here. Today I'm up six hundred and five six thousand five hundred thirty eight dollars wow so i made more than seven thousand but uh, i already have almost eight hundred in commissions <laughs> so trade here guy, is guy, guy, rich guys he, he, he is on his way like i told you oh, that six on a country where the average salary is four dollars a month he's you made jesus man 15 times <laughs> you know that's a year right you basically made a year <laughs> Yeah, it's actually, you know, I, I have a good job, but it's actually a, a bit more than three times my current salary, what I've made this month, which is for me is very, you know, un, un, unreal to, to but, uh, but I'm very happy. Um, I'm not saying that I'm confident, you know, next month, who knows what's going to happen. The market is going to change. Uh, circumstances are going to change. You're going to wake up. You're going to have problems at home. So you always have to be also mindful of your current behavior your current emotional state and 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 not to forget not to get, guys you guys know, uh, that 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 kind of money that kind of money is is what people dream about in the united states too my friend so yeah i mean that's amazing i mean how many of you guys would like to make six thousand dollars extra working an hour a day trading right but people don't understand he put in so much work paper trading all this for a few years to get to the point now where he's, oh my God, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, he, if, he, if he does not become greedy and just keeps like this for the rest of his life, that's fantastic money too, right? There's no reason to risk. So only go up, level up where you want to level up. Keep making 6000 every single month, my friends. Take out your money every month. My advice is to take out money, lock it away. Do you, do you take out money each month too? Well, I actually just have uh, taken, I withdrew 1300 two weeks ago, and, and I gave it to my mom. So um, basically, she doesn't have a, a job. Oh, she yes. With me. She's a pianist. Um, she's sort of retired, but she's still paying, you know, uh, her social security and health insurance. And here in Ecuador, the basic one from the government costs $70 e each month. So I basically gave her, gave her like for 18 months of, you know, the the basic uh, government insurance. And, and I'm planning probably by Friday, I'm just, just, just gonna withdraw the same amount to just give it again because she, ne she needed for three more years and I, she already needs just for 18 more months. And actually for me, I'm, 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 I'm very blessed. You know, I, I have no much needs. I don't have kids, I'm not married yet. Uh, so I'm just, you know, gonna keep focusing on the process uh, of course, money is something that everyone wants and, and is very useful for many things. But currently, I'm trying to make uh, my account to grow. And, and at some point, you know, of course, I'm going to take some money out. I, I still have a, a mortgage to pay here in Ecuador and, and those kind of things. But, but for how now, much you is know, a, how that's much the is other thing about trading. Uh, it depends the area, but, you know, 
So my apartment that I got in a very nice area, uh, and it's just one bedroom, uh, I paid uh, $140,000. Ecuador is not that cheap either, but, you know, yeah, we have to import yeah, many things. You know what, yeah, man? Um, in, in two, or, two or three years, you could be able to pay it off. <laughs> Knock on wood. Well, I actually just got by now, and, and, and I think I, I'm, I'm going to be able to pay it perhaps next year or something. I, I When I came from the U.S., I... I got this BMW X3, you know, which brand new there, it costs $40, $42,000. Here, brand new, the same car, it costs $100,000, which wow. is crazy. So I, I got this, yeah, so, so, so I basically got this used car 2017 for like $30,000. And, you know, even though it has passed two years, I'm, I'm going to be able to sell it around $45,000, $50,000. So my mortgage is mostly covered, so I'm not focusing on that and you know this is one of the things that you guys have to be also aware on trading if you are thinking that trading is going to be the solution for all your problems you are wrong you you have the wrong mentality to to start trading uh, you have to put your house uh, in order as much as possible then you can start you know learning this whole journey and that, that, that was great, everything man. that I'm preaching and saying uh, I just got from from basically Bao, Alex, the moderators, and, and MIC community. So what I'm applying is basically because of them, and 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 I owe you my gratitude, Bao, because you always have been there. You have always supported me. You always give me courage, even in in the dark moments, because I I also had my dark moments, and and I cannot stop thanking you for for everything that you have done, not just trading related, but life related. You know, you are one of those very, very, very special persons in this planet that, uh, guys, if you are able to talk to him, uh, keep as much as possible of his philosophy and the way he lives, because it's not just about money, it's, it's about life. Thank you, Bao. Thank you, man. You, you're a great inspiration. I think, I think you're may, maybe going to be also the ambassador for MIC in Ecuador, man. You, I think you're, you're soon to be. We, we, we want to expand, expand and help the world. Because it's amazing what you started with, 25 shares, 80 shares. Think about this, guys. He made, he's up $6,500 trading. It adds up. $90 here, $100 there, $400, $300. Right. It adds up very, very fast. But in America, people are so greedy. They, don't, they, they think $90 is like nothing. But $90 will feed, feed someone for an entire week, you know, in most places around the world. So it's all perspective, and I love hearing – uh, success stories. I don't call it success story. I, I call you know what, man. This is karma. This is you deserve it. There's no, you know, success will be graded at the end of your life, guys. We have a long life, you know. So don't, don't. I never think I'm successful because you know you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You know, at the end of the end of your life, you'll be judged, you know, by how many people you help. And I and I and Sergio, you just help so many people right now by telling everybody your your story because this is exactly what they need to hear. They need to hear that. You know what, man? Someone, someone that has all the demons in the world, all of you, you have all the excuses, but you made no excuse. You worked hard for over a year. He, he had to take a year off to, to fix his personal life, and then he got back to paper trading. Think That's about right. this. He, he traded paper for a year, and then he had no money. He had to save the money, start with $3,000. And he had to start with 25 shares because you know what? He cannot afford to lose that 3,000. 3,000 is a lot of money for most people around the world. So congratulations, man. I, I, I thank you for coming in and motivating everybody. This, this, this it motivated me to the point where, you know what, man? We, we want to help the world, guys. So thank you, Sergio. And I, you know thank what? You, Whenever you have free time, start up. Talk to Alex and I. We'll start up at MIC, you know, some sort of donation thing that we will help the kids over in. Ecuador, you know, you never know because everybody wants an opportunity, guys. So thank you for coming on. Yeah, you have no and idea you know how much poverty are in Ecuador. Yeah, there is many families that they try to feed their, their kids with less than a, a dollar per day. So, yes. You, you want to be a junior mod, man? We're, we're, I'm going to promote you a junior mod because there's a lot of people that, that, that just want to learn how you did this, man. And if you do not mind and if you have time, you're now a junior mod at uh, my investing club, man. This is amazing. Thank you, Val. I'll be you, happy you to help the community. Yeah, thank you very much, Al. Thank you, Val. Yeah, I'll be happy to help <laughs> the community. Um, most of the time I'm working, but uh, 
my main focus uh, perhaps to add some value in the community will be the mental side, you know, the, the mental perspective, because we are human beings and we are full of emotions and we get caught by our emotions all the time. So, yeah, I will be more than happy to, to try to help as much as possible as and, and try to, you know, yeah. some form pay back That's whatever awesome. you, you guys because also help me, you know, because you, I owe you a lot. Because, you know, man, share size doesn't matter. It's the process. And I've looked at your process, man. It's, it's pretty solid, man. And, and you know what? If you can teach someone that, that process, that's all we need to do. Teach someone with a process to be humble, to be able to trade 25 shares, paper trade, 80 shares, and make that kind of money is very impressive. So someone that's done that is, is spectacular, man. I, I know, to be honest, I can't do it. Most people can't, but the fact that you did it, you give inspiration and hope to everybody that is possible. So thank you, Sergio. Thank you, my friend. Thank, thank you, you very much, on. Bro. Take care. I'll see you in the room. Thank you, man. I hope to see you soon sometime. I'll see you in the room. Yes. Take care, man. Bye-bye. Guys, this is amazing. I, I, I didn't expect this. You guys heard it right there. You know, trading, you know, it's basically, this is a leveling up, like I told you guys. I mean, there's, you have to, you have to be passionate. You have to really want this, guys. And we've proven that, you know, you don't need much size. You, you, you just need the heart and the right mentorship because we have the tools for you guys. We have the tools. You just need to have the correct education mentorship to know how to use the tools. And this is what you can do. So Sergio, for the rest of his life, you know what, man? He knows that he has a skill that he can help his family, which is he doing, man? It's amazing, guys. I'm telling you right now, I believe in karma. I believe everything happens for a reason. First person he helped out was his mom. He didn't buy anything for himself, and I love that attitude. All right, guys, we'll see you in MIC.